Hey everyone, Lucked Horse here. Do you find yourself getting hit with status effects all the time? Maybe getting grappled once too often while running around series, or tired of the stun effect after getting switch teleported by the Grenier Commanders? Well, Baby Worm and Worm Prime are here to help you in combination with its personal Samaris mod, Negate. So, let's take a closer look at this fantastic combination. So if you're after building the base Worm Sentinel, you can find Baby Worm's blueprint in the marketplace and it'll set you back 100,000 credits. The resource requirements aren't too bad to build Worm, and when you've got everything together, it'll take you 24 hours to build it. When it comes to getting Worm Prime, Worm Prime is a vaulted Prime Sentinel which is currently attached to Loki Prime's vaulted pack. So you can either wait until Loki Prime gets released from the Prime Vault to get access to Worm P, or via trades to gather its parts via trade chat or warframe.market. Worm Prime is a tough Sentinel too. When modded up to full strength, Worm Prime has the most armor of all Sentinels. Well, when I say most, I should say equal most, alongside Carrier Prime, who is truly the Sentinel who can. Just on a quick side note to speak about aesthetics for a second, I've seen people say that Worm is the better looking version over Worm P, but I definitely reckon Worm P is the better looking of the two Sentinels. Now this is my build for Worm P, and I still have a lot of work to do to get it up to full strength, but this build where it currently is at the moment may give you some ideas when you're putting your Worm build together. Always make sure you keep in mind that Sentinels read their mod builds from left to right, top to bottom. So if you have a mod you really want your Sentinel using as often as possible, try and make sure that mod or mods are placed on the top row closest to the left as you can. And on another side note, if you're a solo player and you run Sentinels often, then I'd recommend also looking into running the regen or primed regen with sacrifice mods. And if you want more info on why that's a great mod combo for you to look into, especially if you're playing solo, then check out this video I did and you can find a link to it via the video description below. Now you'll notice that Worm's Negate mod is sitting pretty high up there on the top row. And let's jump down to see Cranky Cephalon Samaris because his offerings is the main place you can pick Negate up from. Negate will set you back 75,000 Samara standing, but it's definitely worth the asking price. So we've had a brief look at Baby Worm and Worm P and where you can pick up the Negate mod from. But why would you run this combo? Well, Negate will stop a status effect from hitting your frame once every five seconds. So that means if an enemy hits you with a weapon or an ability which normally would result in you being affected by slash damage, heat damage or magnetic damage, for example, Worm with the Negate mod equipped will kick in and stop that proc in its tracks. Or have you got an annoying Ancient Guardian or Grenier Scorpion that are grappling you constantly? Well, Negate will also stop that from happening to you once every five seconds. The Negate mod will also protect you from knockdowns, will cancel out the stun effects after a Grenier Commander has switched teleported you, and are you wanting to run through Grenier Sensor Bar Door Fields, which unless you're running a frame like say Rhino, Neza or Revenant, which have their own protective measures, will magnetic proc you if you don't destroy the Sensor Bar up the top of the door. Well, Worm and Negate will protect you from that magnetic proc too. So how do you know if Negate activates and is on cooldown? Well, when Negate activates and goes on the five second cooldown, this is the red icon that you'll see in the top right hand corner of your screen. And you still could be a bit unsure about what status effects are in Warframe, or you just might be keen to read up a bit more about them. Well I've included a link to the wiki article on the status effects, and you can find that in the video description below. So that's it for a brief look at Baby Worm and Worm P with the Negate mod combo and why I reckon it's such a great combo to use. They make for a great team, and because Negate can deal with such a large number of status effects, and even even things like preventing grapples or knockdowns, it makes for an incredible combo with your frame. Now you could even think of additional mods for your frame that would complement negate, so your frame will laugh loudly at status effects completely. And if you've got ideas on that, you enjoyed this video, or you've got some further questions about it, why not let me know in the comments section below, or on Twitter, at Lactors. And if you enjoyed this video or it just helped you out in any way, then leaving a like on the video would be awesome and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and have alerts switched on so you know when my future videos go live. And I also have memberships available for my channel which is a way along with viewing, liking and commenting on my videos you can directly support the Lactors channel through a monthly financial contribution that can be cancelled at any time. You can either click the join button you see below this video or check out the link to memberships via the description below. And wrapping this video up, thank you very much for watching and I hope you're having a blast in Warframe, whatever it is that you're getting up to. Cheers.